Man, is there anything better than a good board game? For real, no shame. Invite me over your place. I don't even know your name. A group of people no longer estranged once we sat down and started to play. This is usually how my relationships are formed. From children to adults and the gamers that are hardcore. It's crazy how this cardboard got us all on board. Now we got a concord that is better than our top score. Games always manage to bring people together. Some want to try something new. Others like the snacks, laughs, and talk trash. And let's not forget the people that are playing to win. It's such a trip that games exist before words will print. And the dice is where it all begins. Roll for initiative. 2018 Basur Hayak, Turkey. Archaeologists found the ancient remains of very large grave that mostly contained children and pieces of the game. Their bodies being carbon dated between 2800 and 3100 BC with 49 tiny pieces of elaborately carved stones being some of the first physical evidence of board games going all the way back to the Fertile Crescent and ancient Egypt. You see, most games have an element of luck closely related to the concept of fate, which is something the Egyptians strongly believed. If you play the game and succeed, then it seems you receive the God's relief. Game boards were even given to the deceased. Now, did the game influence the culture, or did the culture influence the game? It's marvelous how something so mundane becomes part of us. These events we arrange become autonomous. Now a new system is at play and affects its whole populace. You see, game is a form of sport or play, especially a competitive one played, according to the rules that were made and decided by the skills displayed until the end result is obtained. Now, that's all going on, but behind that, there's so much more. When you put people in these tiny, structured realms, you can really see how they behave. Ben Franklin expressed this context when he was pressed about chess, saying the game of chess is not an idle amusement. There are several very valuable qualities of the mind useful in the course of human life that are to be acquired and strengthened by it. For life is a kind of chess. There's points to gain, adversaries to contend with, and a variety of good and ill events. By playing chess, we may learn. Or, here's another perspective from someone just as smart. A quote from the GOAT, Kevin Hart. When you play Monopoly, play with the intent to succeed. Even if you don't win, did you succeed? Were you in the game? Or were you at the bottom? You see, success goes beyond what we see in the macro. Some will own boardwalk and others can't even pass go. But it's the fact that experts and casuals have a place that's interactual. These invisible walls between us are now surpassable. And the results are magical when we come together. Forget about the points and the currency. Making friends and gaining memories is how you truly win in a board game. Thank you. Yeah.